it's Karen. Um, today we're doing a 10 pound men's thread up box. Um, this box actually got here really, really fast. I think even less than a week. I originally ordered a um, 15 piece or something uh, shoes, but they said it's going to take about a month. So I canceled that and ordered this instead. Um, men's dust tend to be better for me for some reason. So that's that. Um, thanks for coming back to my channel. If you're new here, I am Karen. I resell on Poshmark, eBay, a bunch of other um, platforms. I'm sorry if I'm a little blah. I'm like really exhausted. I'm starting work again at the bakery and today was Mother's Day so it was really busy even for like New York, New York City. So. It's just really tiring. Um, so let's get into this because I was like, I have to do this now or I'm never gonna get to it. So let's get started. I do have my little helper right there, my little Richie. <laughs> so people um, believe that different warehouses have different quality clothing. Which I have noticed, um, which is primarily true. This one is from Illinois. I actually have never received anything from Illinois, and I've never actually heard of anyone receiving from Illinois. Um, it's Vernon Hill. So if you've ever received anything from Illinois, comment down below to see how your box was. I'd love, I'd, I'd love to know, cause. I've only gotten, I usually send my stuff into PA because we're in New York, so it would usually be Merchenburg or whatever it's called, but yeah, I'm just trying to get this open. It's a little heavy actually, it's 10 pounds or I'm just like really exhausted. <laughs> Alright, it doesn't want to stay, so I guess it's going back up my knees, sorry. I'm trying to readjust. Alright. So the top part, I get my little slip, rescue box, mixed men's, um, it was $40 for 10 pounds, so I love their men's because people forget or don't realize that they don't accept men's, so they just send them like a bunch of men's, um, a lot of designer clothes, I've gotten a lot of new stuff, um, in my last box I've received a $400 puffer jacket which I did send into cleaners but I still haven't seen how they cleaned it because they're still closed hopefully I get it <laughs> sometime this summer but uh yeah I'm very excited for that jacket though that's like basically brand new so I'm just trying not to cut the um the wrapping paper because I do reuse it so that I don't have to waste. Oh goodness. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll fix that later. All right. So on top, I see a button-down shirt and a North Face fleece jacket already. All right. Um, Majestic International size extra large. Looks like a button-down um top. Richie. What are you upset? That's extra large, not your size. <laughs> if, like I said, um, these are rescue boxes, so sometimes you don't really see the flaws or any damages until you start listing or like until you actually inspect the items. So I won't be able to tell you off the bat if there's something wrong with the items or not. So North Face, um, size large, oh this is nice, my husband would really like this, hopefully it fits him. It's just the fleece top, black, or, or maybe it's like navy blue. Sweater, it's very lightweight, it's very nice. I'm sorry if you start hearing squeaks because of him, <laughs> he's playing with his ball. And he wants me to play with him, of course, as usual. Alright, Richie. Here's your ball. 
bra. <laughs> um, Stay Fit Plus, I got a little uh, phone holder for working out. Richie, get off the clothing. Alright, I got a belt. It's just like a fox leather belt. Um, there's no brand, so I'm just gonna probably see if my husband will fit into this because he's always looking for belts. That's really nice. Um, that's a two, two hole one. It, it is pretty big though. Looks like a, probably like a large or an extra large. He's like close by trying to say hi. <laughs> Alright, we have a thin vest from Uniqlo. Un Uniqlo. It's that Japanese or, or uh, Korean brand. Extra large. It's just a puffer vest. Very thin. But these, these are really warm. Um, I know it's a good brand because a lot of people buy from them. And they're not really cheap either, unless it's just a New York thing where everything is super cheap. I mean, super expensive. Um, trying to see, it's 100% nylon and down feather. So these are really warm, but like super lightweight. I know that will sell pretty good once fall will come. Uh, Stafford Essential size 14, 14 and a half. It's a cotton button down purple. It's like a lilac rather. Um, top. It actually looks pretty brand new. Like the collar is in really good shape. Um, there's actually even a little piece of plastic <laughs> right here and I just took it out. I don't know if you guys can see it. But it seems like someone tried it on and they're like, oh, well. This looks pretty bad on me, or something like that. So, the button downs are pretty good sellers. Banana Republic size extra large, which is 17, 17 and a half. And same with this shirt, there's a little tag thing. This one looks like, it's like a striped gray and blue button down. Banana Republic actually sells pretty well for men's. And it is buttoned down. I'm so far liking really the um the sizing. Usually bigger sizes for men tends to sell faster. Uh, reclaim size large. It's also another button down. Oh, this one hurts my eyes. <laughs> it's uh blue and white, I believe. It looks black and white, but I'm I don't I've never really heard of this brand, but it looks pretty nice. And it's a good size, a large. So we'll see how this one goes. Alright. Craft and borrow. Extra soft size medium. It's just the fleece um, sweater. I do see a lot of uh, dog hair or cat hair. Some kind of hair on it. Uh, I don't know if I'll sell this one because I don't know. It, it looks it's like it's been through the wash a couple of times. See if my husband wants it. He likes like warm sweaters like that. Ooh, I see a new with tags. Okay. Five fifty nine Levi's Relax Straight. Size thirty six by thirty four. These are nice. Original price was $59.50. Brand new with tags. This is pretty good. These are nice. Richie, just for you. <laughs> but we still have a couple more things in here. Wow. What's this? Fallout jacket. Bethesda. <laughs> 2XL. Oh, this is nice. Oh, wow, it's new with tags. It's a 2XL, and it's a Think Geek um, jacket. 
So Think Geek is like one of those subscriptions I believe that people get and it's basically everything like geeking out. Um, so this one is Fallout and I guess they really did not like the jacket but it's a 2XL that's a really good size. Like Men's Plus also sells pretty well so hopefully I'll probably list this on um, eBay or something because I feel like that'll be a quicker sell. Alright, and the last item. And it's a pair of jeans. These are also Levi's, 550. It's size 33 by 32. It is pretty old because the tag is a little cracked. Richie, what are you inspecting over there? <laughs> but they seem pretty good. It's just regular um, jeans. Nothing crazy. <laughs> just worker jeans. Pretty good. Um, I've never sold 550 or the other one that I said that one. So we'll see how that goes. I usually sell the 554, I believe. So I'm gonna learn something new. And yeah. Uh, I'm starting to finally get all my mystery boxes, like I've noted before in my previous video, um, but I don't think I'm going to list, um, post them as a video, like video them. I did open one, it was a big bummer, so <laughs> I don't, maybe I'll just like, no, I don't know, but the end of summer, I will be doing a huge sale uh, I will have to be getting like rid of most of the stuff because I'm gonna have an announcement but that announcement will be done in a couple of months so stay tuned to that <laughs> so subscribe to me and like hit that notification bell to see if once when I uh, upload my next video my brain is totally fried today and so I'm gonna go list the items. I I did inventory them and um oh, wow. I I put them into inventory and I label them and I took photos of them and took measurements of them. If you don't know what items I'm talking about, check out my previous video. <laughs> and so okay, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Thank you for watching this, and I'm so sorry that this is, this video is just brutal. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye.